Every person has some problems to solve. These problems may be related to the economy, health, or social relationships. The longer they are postponed, the more difficult the solution becomes. Governments are just like people. Every state has many problems. Health systems, economic or social problems, security concerns are the biggest problems of states. Today, many states use democratic methods to solve these problems. Thanks to these methods, the people make efforts to solve these problems more quickly. People's decisions determine how these problems are solved. But not all states are the same. Some states do not embrace democratic methods. These states have little appetite for solving chronic problems. Heads of state put pressure on people who talk about these problems. In this way, they aim to ban the discussion and protest against these problems. But can this method really succeed? What is happening in Russia these days clearly answers this question. Vladimir Putin is putting pressure on everyone who wants to organize protests. But the Russian people are not giving up on their demands. The Russian people want Putin to resign immediately and the war in Ukraine to end. The protests in Russia are making Putin very angry. But Putin is not succeeding in his moves against these protests. The crisis in Russia is getting bigger. The latest news from Russia today shows that the chaos in the country is getting bigger. So what exactly is happening in Russia? What is the latest situation in the uprising in Russia? As Anka Daily News Team, we investigated the situation in all cities of Russia for you. Let's start if you are ready. As a result of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, many crises have emerged all over the world. All states increased their defense expenditures and tensions increased in international relations. However, Russia was the most affected country. As a result of this war, the anger of the Russian people against Putin has increased. Because the Russians were one of the most affected by this war, the Ukrainian army won a historic victory in this war and inflicted great damage on the Russian army. The number of dead soldiers in the Russian army is close to 200,000. We also know that many Russian soldiers were wounded. This huge loss has shocked the Russian people. The Russian people now know that Ukraine will win this war and they think that Russia should withdraw from the war. The second reason for the riots in Russia is the economy. As you know, the Russian economy is going through one of the worst periods in history. The Russian ruble continues to lose value. The Russian economy has collapsed after the sanctions against Russia by Western countries. This problem in Russia has now fed up the Russian people. People are having a big problem due to inflation in Russia. The Russian people want the economic crisis to end as soon as possible. For this, it is thought that the Putin government should resign. What is the latest situation in the protests? Putin has increased the working hours of the police in Russia to suppress the protests. There are many police officers in every square in Russia. All protesters making anti-war statements are being beaten by the police. Russian police are on guard everywhere in the country. But this situation is now bothering the police too. Russian policemen are very unhappy because of long working hours and low wages. It is claimed that many Russian policemen have started to resign. Nobody wants to be a policeman in Russia. These problems experienced by Russian police can lead to a new security problem in Russia. It is claimed that the Russian police demanded a meeting with the Interior Ministry officials before taking a decision on this issue. If the demands of the Russian police are not met as a result of this meeting, thousands of police officers may resign from their posts. This may lead to an increase in security problems in Russia. Security problems in Russia continue to increase day by day. Other crimes are increasing due to police officers working in squares. It is known that especially extortion and theft crimes are increasing in Russia. According to some people working in the Russian press, there is an interesting reason for this. The Wagner Group was releasing prisoners from jail in Russia and taking them to Ukraine to the battlefield. Allegedly, some prisoners managed to escape from the battlefield and return to Russia. These prisoners reportedly continue to commit crimes in Russia. This situation has caused the Russian people to face a new problem. The Russian people are very angry with Putin because of the increasing problems in the country. Russian protesters are currently organizing mainly through social media. Anti-Putin views are gaining more traction on social media. Support for Putin is decreasing day by day. It is known that Putin is no longer wanted by the majority of the people in Russia. 
According to polling firms in Russia, Putin is unlikely to win another election. Putin has reached the end of his political career. On the other hand, the Russian people continue to try interesting methods to continue the protests. Russian rioters gathered in a square in the city center of Ulyanos, a medium-sized Russian city on the banks of the Volga River. Hundreds of police were sent to this area. The protesters protested against some changes in local government laws in Russia. During this protest, there was no talk about the war, because all the police surrounded the area. Russian people were not able to express their demands that the war must end. However, such protests are expected to become widespread in Russia. As a result of these actions, a sudden protest is planned to be launched in Russia. As a result of these small protests in different regions every day, a big march will be organized. In this march, anti-war slogans will be chanted. This plan of the Russian protesters may affect the course of the war. On the other hand, another big march has started in Russia. Thousands of Muslims organized a march in Russia yesterday to celebrate Ramadan, a holiday for Muslims. There are many Muslims living in Russia, Chechens are especially numerous. But Russia imposes repressive policies against Muslims. The Russian people are trying to limit Muslim worship. This has caused Muslims in Russia to revolt. Muslims started a big march after their prayers. Muslims marched through the streets, chanting slogans against the ban on their religious beliefs. These protests received wide coverage in the Russian press. Social problems in Russia are growing every day. According to experts, tensions in Russia have reached an unbearable point. The biggest riots in the world are the result of such tensions. As a result of too many problems accumulating in the country, millions of people are trying to change this order by rebelling. Experts who conduct research on Russia say that there is a very high probability of a major uprising in the country. Anything can happen in Russia at any moment. What do you think about the riots in Russia? What do you think about the methods of Russian rioters? Do you think Russian protesters will start a big riot? What kind of decisions do you think the Russian police will take during this period? Don't